Welcome to the channel, guys. I hope you enjoyed today's video because as a man who likes to wander aimlessly through fields, a field, I am quite drawn to wearing field watches. That's partly true because uh, I do always have an aim when I'm wandering around through fields. It's often just to be at one with nature. And that's where this watch comes in because it's quite a clean and simple, very utilitarian looking watch. It's a great watch to wear when you're out and about doing bits and bobs, hiking, wandering about, just being yourself, really. Uh, I've gone way off track, but this watch, is it any good for the money? I hope you enjoy this review and I'll make a bit more sense as we go throughout. Before we get stuck in me discussing this watch with you and all the bits and bobs I've liked and disliked and things you should be aware of, you're going to need to know the stats and specs, so here they are. The negatives for me, first of all, is the strap. It's it's okay. I've had worse, but it's a little bit rough and scratchy, but it feels very tough. Uh, I will show you in a bit some alternatives because, you know me, I sell straps and I like to always swap things out, really personalize the watch. And being a black dial watch with a plain design, it works so well. It's very versatile. But yeah, the first thing is really the strap. And the hardware being sort of a bead blast doesn't match the brush finish on there. It's only a minor thing, but something that may bug some of you. The other thing as well is, even though the hands are a perfect length, they're really well loomed. The second hand's spot on, really good. I love the full loom. That's not the issue. The, the issue with these syringe hands is they're just too narrow. The length is okay, but they're just really skinny. I mean, as you can see, there's barely any loom in there. Even though the loom is amazing, the fact that they obviously know how to apply their loom and do a really good job with it. If they had these hands wider, I love the syringe design. They do do an alternative. You can get them with cathedral hands, which I think look really cool. Uh, but I don't think they work with this type of watch though. So it's, I just think there needs to be a slightly better alternative. Uh, the other thing that is um, worth noting is they do, they have stated in the past this as an NH35, but it doesn't. It's actually better. It's got an NH38. There's a slight error on the list. And the good thing about the NH38 is it's effectively an NH35, but without a date uh, position at all. So it's just got a single action on the crown. So just be wary of that. And the only issue I noticed, so you pull the crown out, it's just one pull, nice and easy. Obviously has hacking and has the usual hand winding. But when I'm pushing that in, it's not an immediate positive click for re-engagement. What I'm getting at is it's a slightly muted feeling with the engagement of the crown going back in. And I haven't had that before with NH35. So the hand winding is beautiful. It's really smooth and light and consistent, but it's just that initial click is a bit odd. And then the last sort of criticism I've really can highlight on this piece is the height. It's a little bit tall. If you're going to compare this in your mind to what this is homaging, which would be the Hamilton Khaki Field Mechanical, which is effectively what this looks a lot like. That is a very slim watch, but this is a little bit thicker. It just has that heft to it compared to that. It's a great lug to lug length, really like that. It's just the height, I think, purely because it has that automatic movement in there, adds a bit of depth. But you do gain that back is sort of a positive to that is screw down crown and that little bit of heft and the thicker screw case back. This has better water resistance to the Swiss equivalent to this piece. So actually, it's got an added bit of versatility. And from experience, the loom is way better on. So now I've covered the negatives. I'm going to now flow into just highlighting, just to summarize, all the really good positives which I found with this piece. So I just adore the brushing on this watch. That all brush finish. I'll take this strap off so you can see that case back. Nice and easy to take that off. Uh, yeah, you've got a lovely, gorgeous sunburst effect with the brushing on the back. Really neatly done. I love this extra detail here with this case back. It could have just been plain, but it's got a bit of chamfering going on all the way around there. Again, the brushing's very smooth and consistent on the sides. And the, all the little edges and angles on the lugs. Really neat in between the lugs there as well. Very neat circular brushing motion on the bezel. No fluff or dust anywhere. The fit and finish is absolutely spot on. Really neat. No scruffy printing on the dial. The polished hands are beautifully flat and 
high gloss there's no little imperfections when i've looked under macro and things like that the, the crown again it's got a lovely knurled action really nicely machined screws in really easily very nice it catches really well just straight in there like that no issues really smooth so what you're paying for with this piece is even though it's quite plain it's not got any alarmingly exciting features on it what you're paying for is something that's been really well machined and manufactured and it just has that real charm simplicity and it's something you could just wear for so many different occasions and that's what i like it's part of the collection that's why i like field watches because they don't look anything too flash but they they've got a, a real charm simplicity about them they're so legible and it's got little added luxuries i would say is that extremely good loom which normally you only see on better more expensive watches in most people's minds and you've got the versatility of the 100 meters water resist slap this on a rubber strap or so keep it on the nylon you can get it totally wet no worries you've got the scratch resistance of sapphire crystal with a clear aa on there ar not ai um that would be an added feature wouldn't it the um fact it has ar coating and it's clear i've had that verified i contacted the uh, supplier and they said yeah it's got clear ar and mixture of bgw9 c3 loom and that movement i've had on the time graph is running well it's happy days all around really for everything to do with this watch and to finish on an equally positive note i want to show you this on a couple of my straps so just to get things started here is on the standard strap not quite long enough the ones i sell are these nato style uh, they have just a bit more so you can fold them back and tuck it under also so extra long ones but i'm putting this on a couple of other totally different alternatives just to mix it up a bit so first up is the crazy horse that's what i've called it because it's made with crazy horse saddle leather buttery soft ultra smooth ages in beautifully and i swapped this hardware over to brush because i wanted it to match the brush watch so it normally comes with polished hardware but that's something easy that you can change as you can see so this is quick release pins and that earthy tone is going to go beautifully with a black dial and again, because it's a field style watch, I feel this kind of color just works so well with this type of watch. I'm gonna show you the next one, which is a little bit more of a twist, which you've seen before in the stats and specs section, which I'm gonna go into a bit more detail now. This, I haven't even named it yet. It's a new sample I've got, which I've decided to add to my ring, this strap. It's made with fluoro rubber, FKM. It's much more durable than silicone. It's got a matte finish. It doesn't get lint or anything attached to it. But it's still really strong, but still soft. And this is cool because it's got this extra locking feature here and that stops any of that flapping going on, which I find happens occasionally. And as you can see, the length is just perfect. It's got this lovely bit of texture and a raised part in the middle, which adds a bit of interest. Uh, and I think it works with sometimes slightly blander watches to give a little bit of extra texture and depth to it. And it's got a bit of a, cu a curve where it goes into the lug so it conforms around the wrist beautifully. That's why I'm going for this. It's perfect for all year round, really. That's why I think this is surely going to be a great seller like all my other rubber straps so i'm happy with this as an option and it will be available in other colors as well and it's quick release so to sweeten the deal just to finish this video off octopus kraken store who kindly sent me this watch i don't have to send it back they are offering for the channel to offer to you guys a discount code just to help things along and just to celebrate sort of a new relationship as well so i really want to say thanks to octopus kraken store for sharing this watch with me which i have just love so much and i'm hoping you guys feel the same and if you fancy buying one of yourself link will be in the description it is of course an affiliate link you know the story now and i hope you've enjoyed my review and my take on this watch thanks for watching guys bye for now